The first numbers are in. NBC News has projected Barack Obama as the winner in Georgia. The hard numbers are finally coming in. Three, count them, three precincts reporting uh, from both sides in the Democratic and Republican primaries. Uh, the Republican number, it's still less than zero, uh, to quote Elvis Costello. And John McCain giving an indication of what we're expecting here, why it's too close to call. A 38-28-27 margin over Huckabee and Romney. That with literally about seven, 800 votes total uh, in this uh, primary, at least from the Republican side. The Democratic side, it's Obama 509, Clinton 235. John Edwards still on the ballot with 41 votes. Again, that is three precincts reporting, not 3% but just three precincts and uh, the, the very beginning of a very long night on Super Tuesday. And we're back here at MSNBC headquarters. Uh, we will be getting some results from some states with big Latino populations. For more on the crucial Latino vote tonight, we're joined from San Francisco by Mayor Maria Teresa Peterson of the group Voto Latino. Thank you for your time tonight, Ms. Peterson. Thank you so much, Keith. Thanks for having uh, us on. It's, uh, it's, it's almost now, uh, it's been the story for weeks and weeks, especially about California. It's almost as if the name had been changed from Latino to Crucial Latino. Is the, is the community aware of its, of its importance in the vote in, in California? Is everybody comfortable with that? Is it a, uh, an incentive to get people to go out and vote? I have to say that I've been doing this now for about three years, and this has been the easiest time for me to encourage folks to go out to the polls. And I, go ahead. What, is there is there an indication of of what what is there? First off, is there a block? Is that assumption correct? Is there any tendency in terms of voting that can be discerned in that group? No, I think it's actually very reflective. And if anything, what we're seeing is a generational divide. You see a very large group of individuals over the age of 40 going over for Hillary Clinton, and then you see a large folks who are under 40 going for Barack. Now, the beauty of it is that of the 18 million eligible Latino voters. 50% of them are exactly under 40, and 50% of them are exactly over, 50, uh, over, over 40. So it's a divisional divide. So the, you're, you're not just crucial in terms of an election. You're the, the, the crucial demographic breakdown in terms of age. Exactly. Just to give you an example in California, of all the Latino voters in California, that's equal to all the voters in all of Colorado. Why it was there previous disaffection on the part of, of uh, Latino voters that has suddenly been erased, or has there been consciousness raised, or what is the change? You said it's the easiest experience you've had in three years getting people to vote. Can you pinpoint a cause? Absolutely. I think it's the whole immigration debate. Now, I don't think that it, Latinos are going to the polls because of immigration, but I think it's more of a catalyst. A lot of folks have seen the immigration debate as a backlash of Latinos basically saying, you know what, they're not American. And in fact, the community is counteracting it and saying, we're very American and we're going to go to the polls and address issues that are a concern of us. Is it possible, we saw, I mean, this is anecdotal, but, we, uh, but I saw it throughout New York at, at, at uh, uh, establishments throughout uh, uh, the city of New York today, a heavy turnout by Barack Obama's people uh, in, in public places, basically shopping for voters one at a time, trying to convince people to go to the polls in New York as late as three or four o'clock this afternoon, last time I would have been able to see that. Is there, is there a means of pursuing the, the Hispanic vote in, and the Latino vote in California in that sort of, um, sort of retail fashion? Well, I know that a lot of what folks were doing is that they were basically, they took, they took advantage of that they had free minutes over the weekend. And I know that there was a lot of phone banking going on, uh. friends to friends, peers to peers. And it's viral. It's, it's been an incredible experience. Maria Teresa Peterson reporting the easiest time getting out the vote uh, for a Voto Latino, the civic organization uh, aimed at nonpartisan uh, uh, representation and getting the vote out for Latino youth uh, joining us from San Francisco. Our thanks for your time tonight. Thank you, Keith. Up next, Nora O'Donnell looks ahead to the top of the hour. The polls closing in many delegate-rich states, nine of them, in fact. Nora will show us what's at stake in those big nine. You're watching MSNBC's continuing coverage of Super Tuesday. More after this.